Okay, uh, I see my screen on the screen there. It means that I should not lie when you can hear my voice as well. So, hi guys again, I'm Plastic Rainbow, and this time I'm back with Scribnaut Unlimited. <laughs> so, I, I think many people would be wondering how could you speedrun this game. So, after 40 minutes, I hope you guys find out how I speedrun this game. And also, before I start the run, um, uh, I shall talk about that. Actually, this run is uh, this game is really, really broken, and it has a lot of tricks happening at the same time. So, if I try to <laughs> explain about the one trick I'm using, I will lose the chance to explain the about the other. So, I will try to explain as everything as soon as I can, but I might miss something. And also, if you see some kind of strange things, don't worry, I'll explain later. So, so. Uh, the run will start in 3, 2, 1, go! So the first part is tutorial, so I just... So the goal of this game is to collect 60 star right? so any percent would be collecting 60 star right as fast as possible. So now in this game you can collect star right by through missions or uh, uh, collecting star right shards. Uh, you can collect Star Eye Shard by some, through style mission throughout the levels or uh, finding a specific item or do a certain interaction with them. Uh, those are actually called the object shards, it's kind of a hidden Star Eye Shard. So. Now, there's another feature I should talk about in this game, it's called Backpack, that is actually I'm reading, using right now. A backpack is kind of inventory in this game, so if you can store items inside the backpack and you can put it out anytime you want. Now, the thing is that this backpack is pretty glitchy. So, now, in, uh, the g in, in this game, some of the objects cannot be dragged, so you cannot put it in the backpack, but we will use a glitch and try to put those items inside the backpack. So, you'll see in a big moment there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. We complete the mission and we get the star right. So, so, so we're almost done. I mean, we're like almost half done with the tutorial part. Do a reset because the game tells you to. And here's kind of a uh, kind of optimization in this game. So you have to save the cat on the tree right here. So what we do is spawn a camel and make it fit on the cat. So it brings the cat down and we save the cat. That's what real life 911 should do. So <laughs> so actually uh, so uh, there's really a trick coming up. I have to explain this. The trick I'm trying to do here is called the half pot glitch. So what I'm doing is I uh, try to open the map pause menu at the object editor at the same time. You get a half pot glitch. You are game thinks that it is pause, but actually you can control your character. So next, what I'm going to do is store Maxwell inside the backpack our character. So <laughs> the method is is this as you can see you put the you attach the rope to the maxwell then put the rope inside the backpack and then you can store this two max for actually the specifically for sonic maxwell and for sonic dead maxwell so so next we're going to move on to the next level while being dead this is po only possible because we are in the half pod state so now this is a custom that normally plays if you load the level first time so, 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 I'm dead, <laughs> but that actually enables me to do a death warp there. So, so now what I have to do is collect the star right and shards to enough to unlock a new level there. And actually, I'm going to after I do all the side mission and mission stuff, I will be actually only one shards up to unlock a new level. Then I will try to go to the farm, farm level to unlock a new level there so yeah here is the mission it's the uh, ordinary carnival game you shoot down bottles and pop up balloons and make someone fall into the water 
with the RPG, that's an ordinary carnival game, I should say. And I never been to it, but I think it would be in the same in the real life. So, we do another thing glitch with this star right we get after we complete the mission. So, and next, we're going to do some strange things with the object editor in this game. So, now, this star right is actually a bit special. So, if you br No? Okay. So, if you go to the object editor of this star right, here actually this is not a star right as you see there it's a dollar symbol star right so in this game you cannot type dollar symbol by your keyboard but as you can see if you go to the object editor you can change it its name without the uh, uh dollar symbol there uh, but also you can put them in an item history like this then you can use it anytime you want so yeah we did it so now what we are going to do is use the that back so that we store at the backpack and bring out the Gable screen fast and reboot to the farm level. So now as I said we are only one shard of unlocking a new level there but what we are going to do is get the enough shards to unlock a new level and try to do a skip. Let's see if I can get it. Okay got it. So this is a kind of cousin skip. I will explain later because actually there's much more important thing coming out right now. So, now you might be wondering why did I did some strange things with the object editor there. Now you can see why here. Yeah, I we put the Maxwell inside the backpack because it enables us to teleport to <laughs> every, everywhere we want. So, yeah, we start the mission there. So we have to do mission, right? Nope! <laughs> If we just hand Maxwell a star right, the mission is over. <laughs> so, here's another one. We start the mission, but we this time we're not going to hand the ST there. Uh, we're going to just hand the backpack from the star right, and then mission is done. So, this is phase 2 method for mission skipping this game. So, <laughs> now, and also. Actually, there's a really, really uh, huge another trick coming up, but I will have to explain later. There, oh, let's but let's see if I can get the trick. Okay, guys. So, uh, this is a trick we call the warp cancel. I'll explain later. <laughs> so, now about the t uh, teleporting, about the teleporting there. Uh, actually, you might think that we can put Max everywhere we want by just pointing. Uh, spot where we want to. Uh, actually, uh, if you try, to, if you put out the Maxwell outside the backpack, actually it moves Maxwell just in the middle of the screen. So actually, you have to be kind of uh, be careful. Actually, teleporting Maxwell there, you can get stuck in the floors or get it out of bounds there. And if that happens, you have to do it again. And teleporting multiple times makes it's kind of a uh, difficult uh, to put Maxwell in the spot where we need to be. So, so, so let's see what I uh, explain about the level unlock cutscene skip. So, yeah, what we do is uh, we uh, get the inner star right to open the new level there, and what we do is try to open the pause menu and the pause menu and the uh, uh, work pop up at the same time now that brings up the pause menu first but then with the pause menu if you reset the level on the cutscene skip will play but during that uh, cutscene uh, now the work pop up will, uh, the work message will pop up there. So what you do there is by using the that pop up, we can work to the city level during the during the cutting there. So we can skip the cutting entirely. Uh, that cutting is normally unskippable. And so if you do this, uh, normally it saves to 2 to 5 seconds, but there's only one 
important cutscene that we have to skip that, that it saves 20 seconds is a really really long cutscene there. So you will be probably allow me think putting that Maxwell outside the backpack. So that is because uh that's kind of another uh trick we do in this game. So now if if you remember the city level, you saw me that you always saw the cutscene that pops up every time you load the level first. So but actually we are not seeing that cutscene anymore because it is because the kind of a two warp tricks I'm doing right now. The first trick is called the reset warp. So if you make Maxwell die and and then brings up the map screen and try to warp there, Maxwell dies and the game over screen pops up. But however, uh, game over screen pops up. But if you reset there, although you uh, do a reset there, it will actually reset to a next level there. So by doing that, uh, you can skip uh, level load uh, the cutscene there. So like this, we do a reset uh, place, uh, trying to work to the this underlying level, and then reset to the city level. But you after do do a reset, you come to this underlying level. So. Now the next trigger, uh, next warp trick I'm going to do is called the Starlight Warp. Now you can see I'm trying to off the map screen and trying to warp to the next area. But as you can see, you're kind of stuck in this subway level. Now the reason is that because we reset warp through this area, actually we kind of uh, the warp animation kind of be cancelled there. So the game think that we are warping, but actually we are not. So. If you try to, uh, if you try to, if you try to work there, you kind of get stuck there. But still, the game says that you work to the next area. So if you complete the mission, it will put you to the next level, skipping the another uh, cutscene there. So now, now I did some strange. Th oh, okay, I forgot. Okay. I'll do another reset warp. Um, to the master forest, I guess. Yes. Now here comes another thing we can do with the uh, kind of a dead back shell inside the backpack. We'll let, but we'll get the star right first, uh, shard first, and then. Now we put the dead Maxwell I saw the backpack and then start the mission. Now we didn't place the dead Maxwell yet, but because we are in the middle of placing a dead Maxwell there, it is the close the Maxwell is supposed to be there. But it, the game gets a little bit broken. And actually, in the first start of the screen, there was supposed to be a this pop up there. But uh, you can skip the pop up and uh, go to the finish the level mission right away. And so. It's a little bit a minor time save. There. Oh, okay. I was idiot. I um, <laughs> okay. I was. I I'm definitely an idiot, right? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to do uh, get a one shard there. Uh, commentating this game while running is really hard. So. So we do another level to unlock custom skip there. Yes, got it. So. Now. Now, uh, because we kind of tell you, told you about the two work technique, so now I think it would be the perfect time to talk about why I'm alternating between two methods for the mission skip. So now, now what I'm going to do is another side effort there. But as you can see, if you get the work cancel there, all the UIs are gone. That means that we can't bring out the backpack here. Uh, so actually there is a hotkey for the backpack but that backpack is broken and it doesn't function at all so we have to use notepad uh, the ST bring out the ST to skip the mission here now be but this time because we are not using the star I warp there so we can just use uh, for this mission we can just bring out the backpack and bring out the star right from the back and just hand it to the Maxwell to finish the lab mission. So Okay, so another teleporting there. 
And it might look silly as this uh, actually a strat. Now, uh, one important thing about this game, like optimizing stuff, is that uh, if you can solve multiple uh, side missions with just one word, that is normally, uh, usually much faster than the uh, two short words there. So, the like clone Yank has, uh, <laughs> helps us to complete the two side missions at once, so we're using that. So. So we'll hand in this guy an uh, enemy and give Mafia for her birthday present there. So, oh okay. I also I had to get the one more shard there. I forgot. I will get it after this mission. So now I will do another star work there. But actually, it, if you, uh, as I say, although I reset work to the to restaurant level, uh, you can do a star right work easily because after you okay I got this book with ah okay I failed the work cancel so so what I supposed to do is because after although you reset work to that level uh, if you complete the one mission it kind of the worst toilet is kind of fixed there so we have to work cancel by another way. Uh, so what we do is try to open the map and the notepad on the same frame. So now it that will bring the that will bring the note uh, map screen first. So we try to warp to the next level there. But after you get out the world screen. Uh, it will in notebook will immediately appear and interrupt you from warping to other level there. So we, you, basically you can warp cancel by doing that. So but as you can see I failed to press the same button to say to same button at the same time so I kinda lose some time there. So I'll be back to the the full stop diner restaurant level again. To finish the one last all right there. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, everything will be okay. So, actually, there's one more thing I should talk about the Star Wars warp here. So, oh, I will tell you about that after when I just saw Star Wars warp there. So, the ship you saw, saw was supposed to be uh, at the the level of the cutscene that we skipped earlier. But if we skip the cutscenes, the le it those things that should uh, supposed to be up here at the cutscene kind of stays there. So <laughs> that is the one kind of shows. So, uh, this evil on need a, a new pet, so we'll he give him a sunburn zebra there. And actually that gives us the uh, extra uh, shard there, it gives us the hidden star right, a shard. So, we're using that. And also... Oh, this map is the only map that has a 3 mission there, so it is very helpful for us. And also we are using the teleport in this map a lot because just going up this um, building, like it would be jail, it would be uh, real real long because you have to like open the, use the switch to open door and climb up and those kind of stuff. But because we have a max fail inside our backpack, you can just use easily get through the mission right away. And here I tr will do another warp cancel here. Hopefully I can get it. Okay, I got it. I thought I was scared there. Okay, I think I got it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I think I guess today is not my, my day, but I can easily uh, recover from that. It's a little bit, a little bit of really, really minor time loss, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay. 
Get up there. Oh, we'll be get oh, back to the jail right away. After we finish this mission. There's one thing I should explain about the Star Rifle, but because I failed it again, so I keep losing chance to explain about it. And so that is not good. <laughs> so here I'll do the go back to this part, but this time I'm not going to the warp cancel. So Here, because um, actually, if you do a star by warp there, actually, you are not funding the default fun. Okay, yeah, uh, if you do a star warp, actually, you're not fun at the default fun position of that map. Actually, uh, you are fun at the position at the last level. Uh, that is uh. So if we try to do a, oh, so we have to keep in mind that so here I spawn a, a ostrich on fire because it's actually kind of optimization there because if we hand this lady a uh, ostrich on fire, that lady will kind of bring that ostrich to the right side of the map. And actually, while she is going there, there's a one girl that desperately needs a fire because because he want she wants to make this corn uh popcorn. So, but because that ostrich on fire, we can make popcorn for her. So. Okay. I'll do another reset word to the book that's uh, next to the lazy column here. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So again, although we reset word to this area, uh, level, but because there's a two level there, if I complete the mission, the... Oh, Warp Soul Glitch, that's what we like to call Warp Soul State, kind of reset there, so we have to do the Warp Cancel by the map notebook trick. So let's hope I can get it this time. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, there's one more chance here. Uh, if you see a rock and this wooden mask and pineapple there, that's actually a reference to the SpongeBob there. Just a little fun fact. Get the shard there. I will bring the loud RPG to uh, wake up this Cthulhu and give the god the RPG to this time. Yes, I got it this time. So that's what normally does when you get the world cancel, right? So. Also, you might see the animation of Maxwell is kind of broken there uh, because if you put out the Maxwell from the back there uh, uh, multiple times actually the Maxwell that it is stored in the backpack is actually Super Sony Maxwell the adjective is also stored in there so however if we put that Maxwell multiple times those adjectives kind of stack there so it makes Maxwell just not Supersonic, it makes Maxwell Supersonic Supersonic. So, in the next glitch exhibition, you'll see a kind of a thing that we can do with that. So, I have to do another world cancel. 
I'm not sure whether I got it. Okay, guy. Nice. <laughs> so. Now, actually, the we have to get the. We hand max out the block shooter because it allows to jump much more higher, and it also helps us to get your get this mission easily. And actually, the um um ma giving max a block shoot also gives us the hidden charger, so it's also kind of a minor optimization in this game. So. So this is the uh, after I finish this level. So I will be going to the farm level again. So Uh, it's just uh, also as I explained earlier. Normally, if you put out the max up from the backpack, it teleports you in the middle of the screen. Though. But if you put it out multiple times, it kind of makes it finicky. And actually, I don't know how. Actually, oh, wait. Uh, did I miss? Oh, uh, wait. Did I miss? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I missed the uh, one word cancel at the least column. Right. I forgot. So. I get the, uh, I'll get the. So if you put it on max a multiple time, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I never seen that before. <laughs> so <laughs> if you put it on max multiple times, it kind of makes a lot of finicky and it, it, it doesn't teleport you to the middle of the screen. It's kind of like old everywhere, or everywhere else. So it kind of makes it difficult because. It can make Maxwell stuck in between the floors or those kinds of stuff. And we are going back to the barn and do another. Get the another shard. Oh, I we missed one shard there. Apparently, uh. Oh. Backup shard. And this is the cutscene that we really really want to skip uh, That saves 20 seconds Now one thing that uh, and also we are Handing this guy a cap and they will do a bottle with it <laughs> And do another kind of a Star Wars work there So now one thing is uh, this game is Kind of broken, and there's a lot. Oh, another kind of thing that glitches. Uh, actually, uh, uh, one interesting fact about the map is that oh, uh, there's a really important optimization here. Uh, if I draw, give him a wet ball. Now that guy is really, really thirsty, and he need to quench his thirst there. But because if we hand this guy a wet ball, it he will draw the that into the left side and this guy will see the wet ball and he really really likes it because it, he thinks that it will quench his thirst so uh, you could I think you can try it in a real life <laughs> uh, if you see a guy who is very thirsty just give him the wet ball I say so here we do another dual work cancel uh, I got it, but I was scared. At this time, <sighs> uh, it's really hard to tell whether I got the work cancel or not. So, this uh, things like this uh, can happen a lot. It really, it's really unfortunate. But now yeah, we're going to say this oil rig on fire. Yay, we're saved! We saved these guys, right? So we're do, uh, going to do another work cancel here. Hopefully I can get it this time. Oh, 
Okay. I guess today is not my not my day. <laughs> uh Actually, I'm kind of worried right now that I might be overestimate. <laughs> so, after I finish this level, I'll be back to the volcano level and the dotted island level that I missed the work and so there. Just have to improvise a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do another trick that we just saw previously. This. I'm going to skip a little bit of pop up there. Uh, and it is broken, and it is right here. Actually, right here. <laughs> Although you can see close right there, it's here right here. So let's. Oh! The game crashed. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Uh, marathon lock, I should say. Okay, this run is really, really bad. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, if you do try to pull that off, some uh, it actually sometimes crashes games. So, but actually, I thought <laughs> that it does not happen at the mission there, but somehow it happened. So. My <laughs> and okay, that's okay. I'll do a reason work to the. I it's just the first time that I did it. Actually, doing the, that tri trick there doesn't trust the game normally. <laughs> Actually, uh, that's never happened before. <laughs> Act definitely. So. Okay. We complete this, uh, and then we we will be back on track. So, <sighs> well, of course, marathon run is all about improvised route, right? <laughs> okay. Now, the so thing that happened there is that because actually this map already has a spawn star right there, so if you just hand him a star right, actually. Maxwell will hold it for a second, so you have to give him an uh, extra star right there, so... Uh, actually, I'm kind of a bit worried right now because there's another warp cancel here And I, <laughs> I really hope I can get this this time, so... <gasps> I think today is not my day. Hey, I think I should not do a work cancel today. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I will not do it. Uh, that's okay. Uh, doing a work cancel. Uh, Star right verb is a little bit faster compared to the retail warping. Uh, so, but it's only a just a little bit of minor difference there. So if I just do the retail working everything would be just fine so <sighs> so we'll back to the underscore mine again do it by doing a reset worth actually I'm kind of relieved that actually I, at least I'm getting the level to unlock cousins everything I actually this will be the last level to unlock cousins kit I'm going to do okay, later there so I don't know, I can <laughs> press e uh, X key and the 
R key at the same frame easily, but somehow I cannot press the <laughs> M and N key at the same frame. So that's that. Yes, at least I got the old uh, levels on the custom skip, which is very nice. So, yeah, all we need to do is now from now on is only to get a star right there because we, yeah, because we unlock uh, all the level here, so we don't need to get a shard anymore. So, so it will be just uh, working on the level just to doing the mission skip there. So, oh, I, I. I forgot to explain about this, so like 30 minutes before I made the ST object and if you see it closely uh, if you see it closely actually the ST was a kind of a new object compared to the normal star right there that is spawn so extra star right kind of used there so we kind of spawn the two star right at once the reason w why we're doing that is because if we just hand Maxwell the dollar star right, actually it crashes the game. So, so, so what we have to do is, uh, if we make a uh, two star right and once, actually the Maxwell would grab the dupe star right there. So. And so in that way we can skip the mission. So. Now normally we have to do warp cancel here because I don't I don't trust myself. I'm just going to do a reset warp here. <laughs> so Actually, there's not much thing to talk about here, but now I think that you now would be the perfect time to talk about the, how I started speedrunning this game. So, actually, uh, actually, now I have the world record for this game, but it is only because the, there was actually uh, another runner, Demon Touch, and actually he's the one who is actually keep finding a new glitch, uh, optimizing stuff, but he doesn't run, but. Uh, at, at first, I first saw his run, it was really amazing, but <laughs> somehow he stopped speedrunning there. So, but, so uh, I. <laughs> so actually, he found most of the glitches that used in this run, so. And also, about the glitch exhibition that I'm going to do later, it's also fun by the gamer in touch, so. Should shout out to him. I think I. <laughs> but. Uh, So I, I also. Oh. Okay, I'm kind of messing up right here. Oh, another reset worth. Oh, I think I can do a thorough work here. Okay. Because I reset worked in this area. <laughs> so. So. Uh, I I don't know why I would make it underestimate. It's really, really close. So. Oh, uh, this level is also that has a pre-spawn star right at the right end there it is outside the map but there's a pre-spawn star right there so that happened again so I had to spawn the extra star right there so actually this is the last level and it seems like I will be making it underestimate thank god <laughs> so 
this is the last mission and if we get the last star right from here the time is going and that will be the time so no so it's not time yet so time <laughs> yeah made it on the somehow <laughs> Uh, that was the most marathon run that I have ever done, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but like, I, at least I made it under SMF. That is more uh, lucky, I should say. So, yeah, actually, uh, uh, I will not try to spoil it. This is the end cutscene there. <laughs> and then I was fine. The glow wasn't coming from the starite, though. It was coming from every single good thing Maxwell had done while trying to save me. Every single good deed had helped. Dad oh, I we heard back. that we met our, our goal for the glitch exhibition. <laughs> he said that we really so after this ending cutscene, I will skip the credit and just straight to the abilities. glitch exhibition there. So it will be very short. short. At least so. if there were any kids of his. We eventually forgave him. But not until we had the last laugh. We borrowed his cane and used it on his underwear drawer. So, well, let's get this ending custom here. We tried to and credits, and just straight to go to the <laughs> glitch exhibition there. So, yep. yeah, first I uh, go to the seed level there. Oh, <laughs> we are at the <laughs> worst doll thing. So, now, you, if you remember about the dollar symbol thing that now, Actually, there's another symbol in this game, which is S symbol. As you can see, this arrow middle has the S symbol in front of it, and by using the object editor, uh, we can uh, use this S arrow middle to item history like this and use it. Although we cannot type it by keyboard normally, so 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 you can. <laughs> Uh, the character you just saw is the character you just saw there and the ending costume there so wait a second I also can bring the dollar of symbol there by using the object editor now this trick is usually known as the add method and dollar method in the Scrimnuts community so by using this symbol, it's kind of we enter kind of a debug mode. We literally can spawn everything we want, like and Edgar, the father we saw at the ending cutscene there. Like we can spawn everything we want, and normally you can spawn this. Like if you just try to type like no. It was Edgar, yeah, we can spawn there. So there's some multiple things that we can spawn with, like uh, this one, this uh, gender blaster. So if we, so let's see, okay, I'm going to dump all of this right now. So you can spawn this normally, this is called the gender blaster. If you shoot it, it <laughs> changes the gender of the person uh, it doesn't work on the other character like Maxwell and Lily there because that it seems like they don't have a gender there but there's a thing we can do with that and it's called a monster gun this is also a thing that you can spawn with the normal normally if you shoot them it turns them into a random monster okay I want to shoot that to the Lily there please zombies don't attack Wait, what? Don't attack me. Die. Yes, uh, <laughs> we made our sister into some kind of werewolf and made our father into... What is it? Chupacabras? Why do they have Chupacabras in the Skrillnaz game? I didn't know about that. And also, there's another thing we can do. Now, this thing is called at John water and it's invisible things it seems like but actually it's the water and it seems like if you just enter there you can 
Oh wait, I'm uh, controlling uh, the monster gun right here. Swing there, like this. And also we can, by pulling the what addicted, we can make Maxwell swim <laughs> in the air. So, and also, instead of giving the wear of Aston water, we can give her, uh, him a uh, oh. Wearable, indestructible wearable John Lava there. Oh, I, it made me feel bad. Of course. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh. Uh. Yes. Now, now it is. It seems like it's the same as normal, but <laughs> because this is lava. <laughs> We can kill the cockroach and per oh wow, it kills the man, but it doesn't kill it. De <laughs> it hurts. It damages less for the cockroach, I guess. <laughs> and also, we can kill the gorilla. Wow, Go <laughs> cockroach, the best. Okay, so it so this is kind of a hacking screwing us, I should say. So. Okay, now we're on to the next place. So we will actually go back to the farm here. So now, uh, um, for the sake of this glitch, I'm going to make <laughs> uh, Max a little bit uh, bigger with the custom avatar feature that this game has. It will. It, this makes. Oh. And I make make the last person. So. <laughs> so now I think Maxwell is too fat, and it seems that I think he should lose some weight there. So, but because this game is criminals, there's a really really easy way there. So of course, for using the adjective, but if you use the adjective, it seems like it doesn't change too much. It doesn't change at all I, sh I think so so what I'm going to do is take a more direct approach by using the most bizarre object in this game called the impossible man so this is impossible man so <laughs> I don't know why developer put this in this game so you can drag it, you can do any interaction with them, so you you can remove it by the normal way, so I get rid of it, so like this. Yes, it's gone. So now what I'm going to do is hand the Maxwell the tiny impossible man. If you make some object tiny, you can hand it to Maxwell there. So we'll get him there and voila. What an absolute, what a fascinating way <laughs> to lose some weight there. And also, because Maxwell lost some weight, he can move better than the sound, speed of sound, apparently. <laughs> so, okay. So, now yeah, Maxwell lost some weight. <laughs> there, and we're not done. We are not done. So, do, do you guys remember that uh, if we put the. Uh, if we pull it out, uh, some object with adjectives, it kind of stacks every time you put it out. So, what I'm going to do is make Maxwell skinny and, and massive. Now, so I'm going to do a uh, backpack look. Um, put this. Skinny, massive, thick, mass. <laughs> I don't know. It's not thin. Uh, thin, ma uh, massive Maxwell inside a backpack. There. Wow. He takes really huge space at the <laughs> backpack there. So I'm going to put it out. Again. 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 Okay. Yes, I think that's it enough. 
So as you can see, because the adjective is kind of sex, I put the skin in Maxwell six times. I think so. In next in Maxwell, skinny, 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 max, 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 so kind of stuff. So now this is Maxwell right now. <laughs> so. <laughs> Now this is the end of the glitch exhibition. Uh, the run was really ter terrible, but I, I, I guess because you bought the marathon run, so uh, we will just end with the style. So peace. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.